Welcome to Poetry with Xing, where we explore the beauty behind poetry. The poem for today is Song of the Battery Hen. And the two questions by Edwin Brock, and the two questions that we are going to explore today is firstly, how has the poet portrayed what life is like in the battery farm? And secondly, comment on the title of the poem. Do you think it is an effective title? To begin with, I shall read the poem out first. Song of the Battery Hen. We can't grumble about accommodation. We have a new concrete floor that's always dry, four walls that are painted white, and a sheet iron roof the rain drums on. A fan blows warm air beneath our feet to disperse the smell of chicken shit, and on dull days, fluorescent lighting sees us. You can tell me if you come by the north door, I am in the twelfth pen on the left-hand side of the third row from the floor, and in that pen, I am usually the middle one of three. But even without directions, you'd discover me. I have the same orange red comb, yellow beak, and auburn feathers. But as the door opens and you hear above the electric fan a kind of one word wail, I am the loudest one who sounds, I am the one who sounds the loudest in my head. Listen, outside this house, there's an orchard with small moss green apple trees. Beyond that, two fields of cabbages. Then, on the far side of the road, a broiler house. Listen, one cockerel crawls out of the there, as tall and proud as the first hour of sun. Sometimes I stop calling with the others to listen and wonder if he hears me. The next time you come here, look for me. Notice the way I sound inside my head. God made us all quite differently and blessed us with this expensive home. Now that we are done with reading the poem, we shall be exploring the two questions of today. So firstly, how has the poet portrayed what life is like in the battery farm? The poet portrays what life is like in the battery farm through the speaker's point of view, which is the perspective of a chicken living in there. So through the description of the battery cage the chicken lives in, the accommodation is portrayed to be satisfactory and is up to the expectation of the chicken. In the first stanza, the idea of new concrete floor, four walls painted white, and a sheet iron roof the rain drops on are used to describe the battery farm, suggesting that it is robbed of all natural characteristics, making it an artificial home for the chickens, where it is noisy when it rains due to the material the roof is made of. These features also show that the speaker is appreciative, uh, appreciative of these new features, which are actually described as benefits, which is rather ironic. Furthermore, due to the language used in the to describe the accommodation, in the second stanza, the chicken is a 12th pen on the left-hand side of the third row from the floor, and in that pen, the chicken is usually the middle one of the three, suggests that the chickens are living in extremely crowded conditions through the imagery of the confinement that the chicken experiences. The sense of sound is also highlighted by the poet as above the electric fan, a kind of one-word wail suggests that besides the fan whirring, the chickens also make a lot of noise. And also, the sound of the hands calling is also amplified in the cramped space, which also reflects how, the, how life in the battery farm is cruel and also unhappy. Besides that, the smell of the battery farm is also unpleasant, as the poet describes the electric fan which shuts the hands off from nature to disperse the smell of chicken shit. Although the poet describes largely inhumane conditions that the chickens are living in, as they are largely crowded, unsanitary, and noisy, there is the use of irony at the ending of the poem which provides an insight to the perspective of the chicken, as the chicken says that God blessed the chickens with this expensive home. By using blessed, there is a positive diction that the chicken views its accommodation as a good and pleasant one, further emphasized by expensive, suggesting work and effort have been put in to build the chicken's home through the perspective of the inhabitants of the battery farm. Despite the uh, poet painting a cold and lifeless image of the living environment, this is contradictory to the description in the previous stanzas, highlighting the contrast in perspectives of humans who advocate against battery farms for animal rights and the chicken's perspective that the battery farm is habitable and not infringing on their rights. To add on to this, I would also like to point out a sense of denial within the poem because the battery hen is rather in denial in the fact that it thinks that it's making a big difference or that it's very important in the lives of others as seen in um as seen in I'm the one who sounds the loudest in my head. However, the reality is that what she the hen is hearing is only merely in the hen's imagination, which is connoted by the idea of the head. So in actuality, despite the hen projecting a sense of self-importance on the hen herself, 
there is actually a sense of denial that is shrouding the entire battery farm and on top of that there is the there is this sense of close-mindedness and comfortable and kind of satisfaction within the entire battery farm because the although the door opens the hens or the chickens don't actually want to leave the battery farm which shows their close-mindedness and also reflects a kind of theme underlying humanity in the sense that we may not be always super confident in stepping out of our comfort zones which is similar to these chickens and would rather be confined within the spaces that we are very familiar in although they may be rather oppressive so as not to venture out and be afraid by what's out there which may be more dangerous so we so similar to the chickens we may not be as willing to take risks which is perhaps the message that edwin brock is trying to impart to us now on to the second question comment on the title of the poem do you think it is an effective one for me i think the title is effective in bringing out the personal voice of the chickens living in a battery farm because chickens always cluck in song hence with the title of the song of the battery hen it suggests that the poem would present what is commonly thought by the chickens effectively contradicting the human's opinions on animal cruelty actually on second thought it could also be that the poet is highlighting how ironic this entire preaching of animal cruelty is where we may sometimes romanticize the living conditions that chickens or our livestock are living in when in actual fact they are actually living in rather dire uh, conditions furthermore as the poem is a song the chickens sing as sing as seen from the title the readers are then prompted to consider another perspective of possible ideas of possi- possible positive ideas of the battery farm that the chickens possess this brings out a message that besides considering the degree of humaneness the living conditions of captive animals have it is also important to hear what the animals think about their living conditions before making a conclusion on whether the animals welfare and rights are well taken care of that's all for today's poem and if you would like another poem or poet to be analyzed please comment the details below till then see you